students uh, and welcome to the new episode uh, in this episode I'm going to solve the uh, three different questions uh, and all of them are talking about the organic chemistry and these three different questions uh, are uh, quoted from different uh, past papers and these past papers actually here it's uh, are listed in this table so we have three questions question number three which is from year 2017 March paper 22 and the question for uh, 2017 from uh, May June series 21 and the question uh, for again year 20, uh, 2017 uh, May June series page uh, sorry a paper uh, 22 again so let's start with this question question number three here you have a series of reactions starting from 1-bromobutane it's shown 1-bromobutane with the HCN and KCN has formed a product which is P and this P with the reaction 1 has been converted into carboxylic acid this one carboxylic acid and uh, then from the reaction 2 one bromobutane is converted into alkene then alkene is converted to polymer and here we have a reaction uh, one bromobutane with OH that means alkali solution so first of all question one sorry question uh, I draw the displayed formula of compound P so here Compound P, it's totally similar to the 1-bromobutane, but you have to substitute the bromo with uh, uh, CN, which is nitrile group. So, 1-bromobutane. So, here you have 1, 2, 3. You have 4 carbons. Here, hydrogen. Hydrogen because it's displayed formula. So, carbon here, carbon. Here you have two hydrogens, here you have two hydrogens with carbon, and here another carbon with two hydrogen. And bromo, it was here. This one, one bromobutane. Okay, then has been substituted with a nitrile group. So this bromo should be removed. Then we are going to write nitrile which is CN but please uh, put it in your mind displayed formula that means this CN it's not accepted this one it's not accepted you need to draw it like this way with a triple bond nitrogen so this is one uh, so the, the name of this they haven't asked about the name but this uh, the name of this compound it's called pentan nitrile because five carbons it becomes nitrile so in the question double I identify the reagent and condition for reaction one and two here always when you have nitrile then you will make a hydrolysis in the acidic uh, medium you will get carboxylic acid so P which is this reaction you will add here HCl in the aqueous solution and uh, one bromo butane you have removed HBr here you have removed HBr how you are going to remove this HBr by which reagent in this one the reagent in the reaction 2 it's ethanolic this one I will write it here sodium hydroxide but it's not in the water in ethanol in the ethanol so here we are going to write them so here in the reaction 1 you have added HCl aqueous in the reaction 2 sodium hydroxide ethanol instead of H2 draw the structure of the repeat unit of polymer Q 
So first of all, you need to draw a butene. Butene, and it's one butene. Here we have two carbons. CH. Two. CH. Three. So here you have uh, hydrogen here, hydrogen here. Here, hydrogen. This compound it's one butene. But he is asking about the repeat unit of polymer. This one is monomer actually. This one is monomer. He is asking about the repeat unit. The repeat unit actually totally same to this compound. Here you have carbon, carbon. Okay, but this carbon should be how single bond, and then you will open it from both of the side. Then hydrogen, 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 CH two, CH three. This is the repeat unit. This is the repeat unit. In the question B, complete the reaction scheme to show the mechanism of the reaction of one bromobutane, this one, this is one bromobutane, with OH in aqueous, that means sodium hydroxide in the uh, water solvent solution, okay, to produce R. Here we have reaction which is substitution reaction, but you need to make, uh, put it in your mind. One bromobutane, this one, uh, this uh, halogenoalkane, actually it's primary. So primary that means which mechanism? SN2. That means you have what? Intermediate. Here you have uh, intermediate. So in the mechanism, and the mechanism you need to make sure that means you have intermediate so first of all when you are writing mechanism include all necessary charges dipole long, dipole that means charges negative or positive dipole that means partially negative partially positive lone pair that means uh, always you you may find this lone pair on the oxygen nitrogen halogen this lone pair and always when you have negative ion that means you have what lone pair why because uh, how you have formed negative always to form negative that means you had electron and you gain one electron so you have now this one also this one is important curly arrows that means this arrow to attack or to remove something okay so you need to put them in your mind when you are going to draw what the mechanism so let's start from here now oxygen why it's negative ion because it's gain electron it was uh, with single electron then gain one electron so it becomes negative so here we have long pair okay now this hydroxide will attack this carbon. Why? Because here you have dipoles. Dipoles, which is this one partially negative, the one who is more electron negative, and this one partially positive, I mean the carbon. Then this negative will attack this carbon. Okay? So what you will have formed? You have formed this one. Uh, carbon. Okay? With CH2, CH. Two, CH three, okay, and here this Br. Sorry, this Br it will be like dotted Br, and this OH it will be also dotted. And here you have two hydrogens. 
this is the intermediate then this bromide is going to uh, leave this uh, compound you will form CH3 CH2 CH2 then C with OH and two hydrogens so uh, the name of the compound now it was one bromobutane now it becomes one butanol in the next question you have uh, butane of the double bond between the first carbon and the second butane here you have major product and minor product okay so major product and minor product uh, S can be oxidized this one can be oxidized with acidified potassium dichromate to form compound U that means this one could be <coughs> uh, primary alcohol or secondary alcohol S and U both react with alkaline aqueous iodine S and U that means this S should be uh, alcohol from this type 2OH that means the and this one should be uh, sorry uh, let's uh, solve it first of all then at the end we will explain these uh, things so what's the name of this reaction when you add something to the double bond it's electrophilic addition electrophilic addition then state what can be deduced about the structure of S from its reaction with alkaline uh, aqueous that means here what you are going to deduce that means S because it's formed that means should contain this CH3 C H O that means here O H this alcohol which is always I'm using as 2 O H why it's 2 H that means this one carbon number one and this carbon two so this carbon two should holding what O H because this type of alcohols also give us a positive result with uh, iodine alkaline solution explain why S is the major product of the reaction uh, butene now always major product First of all, let me explain it. Butene, you have this one. One, two, three, four. You have double bond. Okay. Then you add H2O. So this H2O, it will be added to this group. Now ask yourself, how many hydrogen here we have? We have two. And here, one. So we have this a rule, which is make the rich richer. So this carbon, it's rich with two hydrogens. You will add the other hydrogen to this carbon, carbon number one. So you will have this compound. Here, it will be three hydrogens. Here, three hydrogens. And here, the double bond, it will be broken. And you will add the OH. Now, which is S? Explain why S is the major product of the reaction of butene. Why it's a major product? Because here, Actually, uh, there is a uh, 
here you have this alkyl group and this alkyl group surrounded by two alkyl groups which are what donating groups sorry groups also what do we have we have a positive inductive effect positive inductive effect of what of these alkyl alky groups positive inductive effect by what by these alkyl groups will make this compound more stable more stable here that means this carbon which is partially positive it will be more stable this carbon partial will be more stable why because we have two alkyl groups which they are uh, having this positive inductive effect will make this carbon more uh, stable than uh, the minor product in the minor product you will have only one alkyl group so at the end you have to draw the skeletal formula skeletal formula of s t and u s already we have solved it skeletal formula oh and uh, t actually the t is the result of the huh, the t it's minor product so the hydroxyl group should be bonded to the carbon number one and u actually the product of the oxidation reaction of s which is ketone look at here both of these groups they are giving us positive result with uh, alkaline solution of iodine why because there is in this compound there is CH3 CH OH at carbon number two and in this one there is CH3 CO so both of these two compounds giving us positive result Here, uh, write an equation to represent oxidation of S to U by acidified potassium dichromate. You should use O between two square brackets to represent the oxidizing agent. So the reaction, it's uh, you have CH3, C, O, CH, 2, CH3 plus oxidizing agent you will form CH3 uh, sorry here you have it's the you have CH uh, OH here and this one CH3 then C CH2 CH3 plus what you have removed two hydrogens and this oxygen plus H2 and then you have this compound CH3 and uh, CH2 is uh, repeated three times then is ended with carboxylic group is a colorless liquid with an unpleasant odor it reacts with methanol in the presence of an acidic an acid catalyst to produce an organic compound which is V which has a pleasant fruity smell that means this ester so let's name the compound here what do you have first of all methanol so your compound it will be methyl methyl which acid you have one carbon here four five methyl Pantan no wait why because you have methanol and 
pentanoic acid. Carboxylic acid with alcohol, he will form ester. A pseudo analyzed uh, this carboxylic acid, pentanoic acid, methanol, and V, which is ester. Using infrared spectroscopy, the spectra were uh, returned to the student without labels. Identify which of the infrared red spectra, infrared spectra, sorry, X, Y, and Z corresponding to V. Okay, explain your answer with reference to relevant features of three spectra in the region above 100, uh, sorry, 1500. So let's go to the spectra, then we will explain. In the X, what do you have? You have, in this uh, actually is 1650. This one, sorry. This one for carbonyl, uh, it's called stretch. That means the bond when it will be stretched. Stretching. When the carbon double bond oxygen will be stretched, they, they will observe, they will absorb the uh, radiation of infrared uh, spectra at this region, 100, uh, sorry, 1750. And here we have less than this one, which uh, for uh, CH, any CH. In the infrared Y, here you don't have carbonyl. So this one, it's methanol actually. This one is methanol. And here you have this one, which is always more than 2500 wide it will be, which is always for HO. HO. So, this one, yes, methanol. And here, what do you have? You have here, look at here, this one for OH. And you have here carbonyl, which is a thousand eight hundred for carbonyl stretch, and this is OH also stretch so carbonyl and OH that means this one carboxylic acid so spectra X actually it's ester why it's ester because you have only uh, carbonyl group so this is the ester which is methyl ethanoate Okay. All these explanations you need to write them uh, again in this field to explain why this is ester. This one, so V actually it's X. This one it's Y and this one it's C. In the question number four, the hydrocarbons A, which is uh, C4H10, this is alkane, and C4H8, it's alkene, because this one, first one, CNH2N plus 2, and the other one, it's CNH2N. This is alkane, and this one, it's alkene. A doesn't 
decolorize bromine, yes, because it's alkane, and B, decolorize bromine and shows geometric kill isomerism. Alkene and geometrical, so that means it's only cis trans. Draw the skeletal formula of A, and here we don't need to in a branched. In a branch, that means a straight chain and four carbons, one skeletal formula, this one. The hydrocarbon A has a branched isomer, this one. Okay, so just why N branched A has higher boiling point than its branched isomers. So always boiling point physical property. So draw both of them, but two molecule and this one. Sorry. Then we will explain the answer. What do we have here? First of all, the surface area. You need to think about surface area. In the compound A, it's more than in a, this compound, the other isomer. Okay, I'm not going to say B. Okay, in this one. So here they, we have more surface area. Uh, also, you have more contact points, contact points, which are van der Waals. So, because surface area is more, van der Waals force, sorry, more, that means you have high boil, uh, higher boiling point than this uh, isomer. Give the structure formula of B. What's the B actually? This one, and a branched and uh, alkene. So this one, structural formula. You need to say CH three. So one minute, please. And shows uh, geometrical isomers. That means shouldn't be in the should be in the middle, that means CH3, CH, CH, CH3. Because the cis is on the trans, that means here you have CH3, CH3, H, H, this isomer is a cis, and if you will switch this one with the hydrogen, so you'll get the trans. So here, explain why B shows geometrical isomerism, because you have a double bond, so there is no rotation. So you have, because the double bond and there is no free rotation that means here you have the double bond so these double bonds will prevent the free rotation between the CH3 and the H3 so they will not change their places always you will have CH3 at this side and this hydrogen if you have another one that means you have the other isomer so draw the mechanism of the reaction of B with the bromine and include all necessary charges, dipole charges, dipole, long pair, and curly arrows. You have this compound. CH3, CH3, H, H and bromine always so uh, you know in the double bond you have high density of electrons so uh, the electrons the electrons you know in the bromine molecule we don't have 
partially negative and partially positive because it's non-polar molecule but in this case because this bromine is very close to the uh, here the electrons in the double bond so this one it will be induced so this bromine which is very close to the double uh, the uh, the bromine which is close to the double bond so it will be partially positive and this one partially negative and then the double bond will attack the positive you will have this one and here this is a new bromine okay and this one it will be positive and here you have another bromine which is negative that means there is pair of electrons then the negative will attack the positive here hydrogen you will have uh, the compound which is let me draw it here CH3 CH3 H and here the other bromine so the compound it will be uh, uh, the name it will be 2,3-dibromobutane so here he's explain, uh, asking about explain the origin of the dipole in, uh, in, in this uh, bromine I told you BR BR they are non-polar so we don't have partially negative and partially positive why because they are non-polar but how it's a dipole on uh, the correct so up here negative charge so as I have explained the BR which is very close to the double bond here because we have double bond the BR which is close to the double bond it will be induced so it will be positive and the other one which is far away from the double bond it will be uh, partially negative so you will uh, see the explanation in the mark scheme I will send it to you you will find it also you will find it in the uh, the attachment uh, field or the explanation of, uh, field of this video uh, the alcohols C and D are isomers of each other with molecule formula this one both isomers are branched that means they are in straight chain chain when C is heated and the reflux with acidified potassium dichromate no color changed so this one this C it's uh, tertiary OH when D is heated and the reflux with acidified potassium dichromate the color of mixture changes from orange to green green which is formed this one here the number of oxygen is increased that means this uh, alcohol is oxidized to carboxylic acid so the D its primary alcohol and E this one is the carboxylic acid of D so you can see both of C and D they have this formula C4H10O and this one as C4H8 with O2 here write uh, the equation for the reaction between E and so you have C4H so let me draw it in this formula C
CO CH2 CH2 1 2 3 4 and CH3 and uh, G which is all the height should be CH3 CH2 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 C uh, H O this is the only height Explain the meaning of term chiral center. Uh, one minute, uh, sorry. G. One minute, one minute, one minute. G. Doesn't react. Sorry. Here we have a problem with the, this one because should be chiral carbon, chiral center. So yes, we have CHO, and here, CH, and in this CH should have CH3 we need. We need, yes. So here we have, that means, CH3 here, CH2, sorry, CH, and here we have CH3. To understand this part, I'm going to explain it here, G, that means you have this uh, CH, O, which is this one, then you have CH, this CH is hold, uh, bearing this methyl group and here H CH2 CH3 okay so this carbon it's chiral carbon why because there is three different groups so explain the meaning uh, of the term chiral center a carbon Carbon is bonded with four different atoms or four different groups, and uh, the existence of the chiral carbon, you will have uh, two isomers of this compound, two isomers of this compound, which they are different only what in 3D displayed. formula so chirality or chiral center that means a compound which it contains uh, carbon which is bonded with four different groups or atom and give us three uh, two different uh, isomers which they have 3d uh, 3d uh, displayed a uh, different 3d displayed formula so H and I are isomers with molecular formula, this one. The infrared spectra of isomers, always when you have a compound with two oxygens, could be, as a general, could be carboxylic acid or ester. Could be carboxylic acid or ester. So from this compound, uh, th uh, this spectra, it's very clear it's uh, carboxylic acid because you have stretch of this uh, uh, group, carbonyl group, and here you have stretch of OH, which is very wide and started from 2000, more than 2500, and this one in this range cubic centimeter power minus one and this one is very clear it's ester why because in the ester you have this group this is ester always you have carbonyl this one stretch same region uh, approximately this is approximately and we don't have OH here. We don't have. So this is ester. So identify 
the bond responsible for the principal peaks we have explained that this one in the H this principal and in the I also we have explained them so name H and I name H and I so That means the compounds. What the what he uh, and H and molecular form for it. Okay. For. We have named these groups H and A and I told you carboxylic acid and ester. In the next question, question uh, four uh, P, Q, and R all have they have this molecular formula uh, C3H6O. They are all structural isomers of each other. P and R uh, contain oxygen atom bonded directly to a carbon atom with sp2 hybridized. That means with double bond. This is carbonyl. R contains an oxygen atom bonded directly to a carbon with sp3 hybridized. Uh, that means this one, it contains this one. So or it's uh, this one okay so explain the meaning of team structural isomers structural isomer uh, that means the same molecular formula but different uh, displayed formula or structural formula or skeletal formula. This is very easy. And sp2 hybridization, as I have explained that, that means here sp2, uh, we have over, overlapping, and this overlapping they have used one electron from s orbital and two electron from p orbital. And the sp3, one electron from s three electron from p orbital so it's called s p2 and here s p3 uh, just extra info maybe you will have uh, in the other question sp sp one electron from electron uh, from uh, one electron from s one electron from p you will find it where in the carbons triple bond here the hybridization of these carbons they are sp because uh, you have uh, two single uh, sigma bonds, this one and this one. So one electron from here, one electron here. SP3 always, you uh, SP2 always you will find it where in uh, double bond. Okay, double bond. That means in the double bond that angle it's 220 and sp3 you have it in the alkane as a general because each carbon is bonded with four sigma bonds so uh, the, 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 the angle it's 109.5 degree so R contains two different functional groups, uh, one of which is an alkene group, and uh, R react with cold dilute acidified manganate to form uh, propane 1, 2, 3 triol, which is uh, 
yes and three trial okay that means uh, give the displayed formula of R called dilute acidify that means you have added two sorry you have you have added two OH group diol okay so your compound as he said you have three carbons you have two functional groups one of them OH okay and here double bond so this is R when you reacted with cold KMnO4 in the acidic so you have uh, break down this double bond and then you have added here this OH and OH so the compound it becomes uh, one two three triol propane state the type of reaction and what you would observe when R reacts with the bromine uh, bro uh, R there is double bond alkene and with the bromine will decolorize decolorized bromine color and the reaction it's electrophilic addition electrophilic addition draw the structure of the product formed so you have R this R and here you have added Two bromine H H H and here we have another H identify the gas as a product formed when R reacts with hot concentrated acidified manganate uh, yes here when you react this compound with acidified uh, at once this double bond it will be broken you will form carbon dioxide you will form you will form carbon dioxide CO2 P and Q both form an orange precipitate with this compound which is 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine only Q produce a yellow precipitate when reacted with alkaline aqueous iodine so name a P and a P and a Q so the one Q yellow precipitate so there is a CH3 okay P this one uh, for three carbons so yes and the other one it doesn't form that means it's CH3 CH2 OH why we have select the this one because here the hybridization sp2 so that means you have carbonyl compounds identify the yellow precipitate formed by the reaction Q with alkaline it's the same uh, answer which is triiodomethane we have solved this one P and Q each react with hydrogen cyanide to form a single product the product formed from P exists as pair of optical isomer and the product from Q doesn't uh, accept optical isomerism optical isomerism was the optical isomerism a compounds which they have a uh, chiral carbon which is bonded with four different uh, groups or atoms and uh, they will form uh, two isomers which they have different 3D displayed formula so here we have ethanol also react with hydrogen cyanide the product is this one draw the mechanism yes so this is CH3 H uh, here you have formed 
the product of this reaction is CH3CHO uh, CN so the reaction between CN okay you have pair of electrons partially negative partially positive so this one will attack this one then this one it will be opened you will have CH3 this one fully negative and this one H and here CN then in the next step you have H plus here this H plus will be attacked from the negative you will form CH3 OH H sorry this one up this one C N so by the end of this uh, question we have covered all the this test which is contains four uh, questions from different past papers and all of them about organic chemistry so this past paper it was a good uh, example for making a revision for uh, chapters from uh, 14 to uh, chapter 18 so thank you for listening and see you in the next uh, episode with the next uh, past paper or next test see you